Well, it's time to spring clean your medicine cabinet. Stay tuned for some reminders to help make that happen. This episode of the Dollar Saving Divas podcast is brought to you by RentTheRunway.com. You'll find more than 200,000 pieces and 400 designers in the Rent the Runway closet. For any event you might be attending, formal, cocktail, or festive, you can get four- or eight-day designer rentals for a fraction of the price. Anything you want, one flat price. And when you click the link on our Dollar Saving Divas Facebook page, you'll save even more and help keep this podcast free. Look great and save money, too, at RentTheRunway.com. Okay, it's springtime. Actually, and you can do it in the fall as well, Leslie, but... um, you need to check out your medicine cabinet and get rid of all those um, prescriptions that have expired or even there that aren't necessarily uh, prescriptions, but um, just all that over the counter stuff. It's exactly. amazing how much stuff you accumulate. I don't know. In our house, it seems like every time somebody gets sick, they go out and buy a new whatever without checking to see what we already have. Yeah. So you've got in the medicine 42, cabinet, 42 <laughs> five day quills. And- exactly. Exactly. Well, as we know, companies are required to put expiration dates on medications, um, but you don't necessarily have to, you know, some of them you can keep a little bit longer. Mostly I, I would say those are um, the tablets and things because they, they're not liquids. Liquids, if they've expired or they have a funny color to them or anything, absolutely get rid of them. But the key is, okay, how do you get rid of this stuff? Well, um, in the spring and then I know in the fall again, um, there's a national prescription take-back day. And actually, I know TV stations do them. I know Kroger does them. Check with your pharmacy. But um, don't flush them down the toilet because that actually can get into the water supply. Yep. So, you know, I know a lot of people said, oh, yeah, I just flushed mine down the toilet. Well, yeah, that's not, not supposed to do that. No, you're not supposed to do that. And actually, if you probably flushed a lot of them down the toilet, you could stop up your plumbing. Yes. So that, that's another reason why not to do it. So check things out because that'll really um, – help to alleviate the stuff in your home that you don't need that's expired that really may not help you. Yeah. And then when you're doing that, you want to make sure there are some basic things that you should have in your medicine cabinet. So it's a good time to stock up on your basics to make sure that you have um, acetaminophen or ibuprofen for fever and pain. Um, We always keep some Benadryl in case somebody has an allergic reaction. It's good to have that on hand. Um, Antibiotic ointment for wounds, cuts. Uh, You want to have a decongestant, a cough syrup, um, and acids. We always have those stashed away. And then your basics, bandages, cotton balls, rubbing alcohol. So it's a good time to just uh, stock up on those. Make sure you have, like, Band-Aids, I always check the sizes of those because, you know, you cut, you get a little paper cut, and you go in, and all you have is, like, the three-by-three three exactly. giant wound bandage. <laughs> I am with you on to that wrap around your finger. Totally with so. you on that. Well, and the other thing is, speaking of, like, Band-Aids and things, is put together in, like, I have a like a little cosmetic bag that um, you know I have my cosmetics in, but it's the same thing. I always put a, a couple of bands because if you're traveling, yep. you don't want to take a go no, buy a big you box of two or three different. Yeah, so you could have bandage, you could have some you know aspirin yep. or Advil, you know maybe some um, like Neosporin, some some things like that are always good to have too in, in your travel bag. And then the other thing, which and I'm guilty of this, is. Your medicine cabinet should not necessarily be in your bathroom, which is where most people have theirs. The warmth and the moisture that is in your bathroom will cause medications to degrade faster. So the better place to put it is a cool, dry environment like your kitchen cabinet, um, away from a heat source, maybe in a hallway closet away from the, the bathroom. Um, so think about moving your medicine cabinet. Of course, you want to make sure that it is you know, up high and it's If you have children or pets, you want to make sure it's behind a door, it's up high, and you have child locks if you need to so nobody can get to it. But, yeah, the the bathroom is not the best place to keep it. Well, and I've heard some people um, also buy one of those little refrigerators, Mm -hmm. little tiny ones, and then they'll just put those, you know, somewhere and just store all of their um, medicines in there because, you know, some medicine actually has to be kept cold. Right, if you're insulin or an EpiPen, um, even things like fish oil should be kept and so, so refrigerated. In, the, in our case, I have that little refrigerator in my office that I keep juice in. I do keep my vitamins in there because I get up and take my juice, my vitamins, bottled water, and currently it has three bottles of wine chilling. <laughs> well, it's everything you need. That is a well-stocked medicine cabinet. Absolutely. This episode of the Dollar Saving Divas podcast is brought to you by RentTheRunway.com. 
You'll find more than 200,000 pieces and 400 designers in the Rent the Runway closet. For any event you might be attending, formal, cocktail, or festive, you can get four or eight day designer rentals for a fraction of the price. Anything you want, one flat price. And when you click the link on our Dollar Saving Divas Facebook page, you'll save even more and help keep this podcast free. Look great and save money too at renttherunway.com. Thanks for listening to the Dollar Saving Divas. If you have ideas for an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Just head to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash dollar saving divas CBUS and share your comments. Our podcast is available on iTunes, iHeartMedia, or your favorite podcast player. Thanks again for listening. Circle270media.com.